Welcome everyone to the River Rest. This is a six berth model and it's got a permanent bed on the rear. So we'll quickly take you through a brief tour on this particular vehicle. So this is what the rear section looks like. You got your usual large opening windows at the back here which is famous with our New Zealand built motorhomes. You've got a fridge down here. So it's a fridge with a freezer box at the top there. Large galley area, sink, 240 volt microwave, and you've got your gas stove over here. With, it's got a grill at the bottom there. And depending on what you have fitted, Four burners or three burners. Moving on to the bathroom area over here. That's what that looks like. You've got a vent over there at the top as well. And you've got a couple more skylights here and at the top there as well. And you get plenty of storage on this model. Large opening cupboards everywhere. You've got your radio at the back here, TV, which is on a swivel bracket. Just pulls out like so. Main control center is over here. A small wardrobe. With where the awning pole is normally kept with the two dining poles. Access to the front cabin area. And a large over cab looting area. And that's where your six berth comes into play. So you've got two beds up there, two here, and two people can sleep at the back there. So this is what this looks like when there's no table in here. It gives you a large open space and when you want to convert this into a bed, you just literally just pull this out, lift up and pull it out. And then this leg just drops down. Drops down like so. Similarly on this side as well. It just pulls out. And then these top squabs over here just go down here and that converts into your bed. Underneath here is your house battery, battery charger, diesel heater, and on your fuses and circuit breakers over there underneath. You've got a little charger over there, 12 volt socket can plug in anything you want there and your isolator switches down here again like I said there's plenty of storage on this model there's even space for all your plates all cutouts and everything this I'll put the table in here so you can have a look at what that looks like with the table in place This is what the table is. It's a large table with just two mounts there. And it goes in like so over there. And that's what that looks like underneath. So looking at it at a different angle. That's what that table looks like. You've got LED lights everywhere. So if we turn on the light switch here, you've got multiple switches. This is one circuit. This is the second circuit. And the third one down here is for your light outside here. So that's where your light is outside. That's what that third switch is there for. Your rear lights are controlled over here. On the 
never rest. You get a lot of storage underneath the bed. This is also where the hot water cylinder is located and the safe. So you also have a wardrobe over here, small mini wardrobe, where you can hang your clothes and stuff like that, and more storage at the top there. And we'll just quickly step outside and I'll show you what the awning looks like. So as mentioned earlier, your awning pulls over here, pull that out. So this is what that awning looks like when it's pulled out. It's quite a nifty design. So no poles or anything to worry about putting down. So that's what that looks like. So you've got that large storage door over here that's opened by just one of these keys. Lift that up and you can see here you've got huge room underneath there. You could fit a lot of things in this particular setup. It's huge. And that's where you fill in your water. Coming around to this side, you've got access to that storage area again. So it just gives you another access hole to that side. Gas hot water heater. Your grey water is emptied down there toilet it's located over here that's where your toilet's located and you finally your gas bottle just behind the driver's door over there so that's the brief tour of the river rest like I said it's a fairly straightforward motorhome nothing too complicated about it and that's why I like this um, layout very practical and easy to use for anyone and again it gives you that extra space as well so i'll put up the specs now at the end so you can see what the length height and the width is and what the water tanks and everything are so that was my brief tour on this river s six birth motorhome I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya.